Hello everyone, it's Wiz Crasher, and welcome back to King of Thieves. So, a new update just dropped in the game, and there's quite a few things to go through. We'll be doing that via the news section of the game, where they do mention a lot of the things that are in the update. And yeah, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on everything, and yeah, the update as a whole. Alright, so, new version available. Greetings, thieves. Summer has been around for some time already, and here's what we have in store for you. Okay, so let's see what they have in store for us this update. Want to feel the summer vibes? Check out the new amazing costumes and celebrate the warm days! Okay, so looks like every update we have new costumes and this update is no exception. So, there are new costumes, 2.60. Alright, need a quick boost to your progress? Look no further. Here's the all new Mystic TV where you can find instant rewards to help you on your quest. Okay, so looks like something else useful is out. Or maybe not useful. We'll check that. Anyways, are you a new player looking for an edge in the competition? Get your hands on the premium throne. Complete with an exclusive skin that will make you the envy of your fellow rivals. Not only will you look like a boss, but you will also become stronger. Okay, so looks like new players get to buy themselves a very cool throne, I guess? Uh, we will see, we will see. Wishing you sunny days and good luck in the dungeons, thieves. Alright, we'll start with the outfits first, because that was mentioned first, but before that, I have to say that there were some UI changes. They made a lot of buttons which were red in color to green. I don't know why they did that, but I guess it's easier on the eyes because I kind of do like the green more. All right, so the first outfit is called Flamingo, floating with style as a description, and it's an exclusive costume for the guild craziness pass. So if you buy the pass, you can get this. It's got a weird trail, very flashy and pink. I'm not a fan of it. I couldn't figure out what the trail is. But as the design itself, I guess some could like it. Fits somewhere though. Alright, floaty is the next one. It's not a fan of diving, as its description. And it can be one in events or bought in the shop. So I hope it's in an event. And I can get it then. And for this costume, I do think I like it better than the other. Because it's trail, all those goofy and flashy just like the other one. I guess the design is better to me and more appealing than a flamingo. But this doesn't fit as much as the other one, if that makes sense. But yeah, decent costumes. Let's move on to the next part, which is the Mystic TV. I have to say, there's a lot about this. Alright, so the first thing is, there are five rewards to claim every day, and you get one for free, four of them you have to watch 30 seconds of ads for, for each of them, so that's about two minutes of ads to get four more rewards, which is not bad. Now we've gotten two silver spheres in the past five days that this been out. So as long as some rewards are decent, I guess people could watch ads to actually get those rewards. And it's kind of free rewards, so why not get them, right? So yeah, that's kind of nice. But what I don't get is why they didn't just revamp the bazaar, which was the primary ad rewarding thing. And it's on the attack screen. It could have been very well moved to the main screen and... I honestly like the art and UI of the bazaar more than whatever the Mystic TV is. Mystic TV doesn't look well made. And honestly, I would have preferred a revamped bazaar. Just like how they did with the Star Master. And, and they changed it into Lucky Spinner. Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, so that's for this. And now we're going to be looking at the new throne. Now, this is going to be only for new players, so you might not have access to it. 
and it's as about the same health as of a wise judge throne, I think. So 170 health as a stat, which is kind of okay for lower levels. I don't see it as a huge problem or a huge advantage. And it's kind of also easy to reach wise judge, so I don't know why you'd get it, but let's move on. The, the gold bonus from stealing is like 35%, and the gem steal chance bonus is 20%. The best pick chance is 5%. So yes, not huge numbers and won't influence a whole lot. So that's kind of odd, if you ask me, because it's $18. Like, why is it so expensive? I mean, yes, it's got a cool skin, but I'm not getting a throne for a skin, which I'm not even going to get to keep, right? So it makes no sense paying $18 for that. I understand if it was something like $5. And yeah, it would make more sense if it was cheaper, more people would buy the throne, because some people do genuinely struggle with upgrading the throne, and that would help them a lot. And also, the health could be buffed to like 220. If, if you really want to keep an outrageous price, I'd move every stat up. So like 220, 50, and then like 50 again, and 25. Yeah, those are fair stats. That's an order. So yeah, overall, this update has kind of mids on me. I think it could have been a lot better, but this was kind of a small update. So yeah, I really can't complain a whole lot. We'll have to wait for the next update to see what's out. But I don't think that's going to be a major one. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this update and the video. So thanks for watching, guys.